Welcome to Root Beer Circus. Beer Circus Reviews. Boom. Such a puss. Ah. Hey everybody. Hey. Um, my name's Steve. I'm Sammy. And sh uh, we're, uh, Root Beer Circus, and we would like to uh, do a movie review. We would really like to do that. A bedtime movie review. Bedtime reviews. Yeah, we from just got Sammy and Steve. We just got back from Alita: Battle Angel. Okay, you jumped in quick. Whoa. I just need to point out. Do you see like the shadows on my face? Yeah, they're fine. I look like a thumb. I mean, <laughs> well, I'm gonna put my thumb on your face. Yeah. Thumb face. Fluke. This is not the way we're gonna do ratings, though. Not thumbs no. up, not thumbs down. Did you think about it? I forgot. What the? Do yours. So I had two ideas. You had to like decide. We were gonna do either ten sheep because it's bedtime, right? Or five pillows. I kind of like ten. Ten's a good number. Yeah. And if you do sheep, lights. you count sheep when you sleep. Do you? Not when you go to movies though, but when you sleep. Do you do that? I don't personally anymore. Anymore? Did I you? I did at one point. Yeah. Aww. I count sheep. I try to count sometimes when I can't sleep, but I get too focused on my numbers. So, uh, did you like the movie? Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. All right, this is non-spoilers. We're gonna put that non-spoilers on the bottom. Not thumbs down, but like no. Like we're not gonna spoil spoilers. the movie yet. We will soon, and when we do, we'll have a spoiler alert. Cause that's what you do on YouTube. You do a spoiler alerts. A splurt. A splurt. We'll just call it a splurt. That's horrible. Uh, <laughs> um, How do I not look like a thumb? Just be yourself. Don't <laughs> and don't look at the screen finder. Look at the the, the camera. Oh, that's okay. how. Hey everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so we saw Alita Battle Angel. It was. And we saw it with your parents. We did. This is our second viewing, actually. Our second viewing, their first viewing. We went on a double date. We did. It was so cute. Aww. It was really fun. Um, and we loved it. We love the movie. I loved it. You loved it? Did you love the double date? I love the double date. All right, I'm just trying. And I love the movie. I really liked that movie. Um, what was your favorite part? Actually, well, no spoilers. No right? spoilers, but what's your favorite part, non-spoilery? Oh, um... What did you like about it in general? You know... We talked about it in the car. You know, I like the vibe. Like the vibe? I like the vibe. Um, the CGI was... Spectacular. For those that don't know what CGI is, our friend Misty. Shut up. It's uh, computer graphic images, and it's like we didn't like, look that up. You just think but it's that just like it like ever since Jurassic Park, they've used it. So that's what it is. Everyone knows what CGI is. Jurassic Park. Yeah, Jurassic Park. Is that the first? The first like big one, when they saw li live dinosaurs. Yeah, in they a movie. had a lot of like physical. What's it called when you have real things? Practical oh, practical effects. Practical effects. Yes. I'm so smart. I think though that the. I think that the CGI and practical effects is starting to mix. Like, you can almost not tell if it's practical or CGI. That's the point. Okay, we gotta talk about the movie. This is no podcast. Um, right. This is no Root Beer Circus. Um, okay, so. Here was my favorite aspect wait, of the movie. Wait, why don't we get. Hold on, you just said you like the vibe. I like the fact that at the end of the movie, I wanted more. Dude, like that I, was my thing that no, I told you. You in said the car. vibe. No, but in the car I told you that. Well, I stole it for the, the review. The first, oh, okay. I stole it for the review. He did. Okay, um, why don't you give a, a non-spoiler-based synopsis of the film? Okay, so it's set in the future, mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, basically this... Wait, can I do it first? Listen, bad guy from Inglorious Bastards. Christoph Waltz. No, stop, don't ruin my review. <laughs> bad guy from Inglorious Bastards builds robo-daughter... Who turns out to be a fucking <laughs> 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 
badass bitch from the past. Carry on. Um, to not spoil it, I mean, it's just like, take, you know, a sci-fi movie, take elements of, like, kung fu, um... You know, it's based, the movie's based on, like, an anime movie. Or oh, what did you just say? A- anime. Anime? Anime. <laughs> potato, potato. It's called, actually, it's called a manga, right? The books are. Okay, whatever. So, that's why the girls got, like, big eyes. A lot of people, I guess, at first were like, oh, weird with the big eyes. You get over the big eyes right oh, away. Oh, it fits, because yeah. she's special. And they were just doing, like, a, a artistic homage to that. But, she uh, has her first body is really beautiful, detailed. It's like, I want it. Like pearl esque, you know? Bit. Yeah, it's nice. Opaly, rose gold. Oh, I love it. Um, there's a lot of cool people in it. Yeah, a lot Christoph of. Christoph Waltz. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys all know him. Yeah. From World War II. Um, <laughs> Jennifer Connelly mm, reminds babe. you of the babe. Ma- major what, babe. What babe? What? The movie babe? Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm breaking up with him right now because he didn't just skip that reference. What what, what oh, reference was it? Such uh, I can't wait till this is posted. Just say it. The labyrinth. Oh, pff. Jennifer Connelly's been in way more cool stuff than the labyrinth, bro. I want to kick the camera over. Anyway, uh, I would say that Ed Norton. Ed no- Well, that was a spoiler. No, it wasn't. No. Okay, whatever. Ed Norton. I think if it. you looked at the movie, it would say Ed Norton's in it. Um. Wait, there's another one. The guy that just won the supporting the guy, actor. Yeah. What's his name? Where's my phone? Yeah. You so we phone? watched the Oscars recently. Okay, so we saw Alita. Watch the Oscars. Saw Alita again. Yeah. And then when we saw it the second time, we're watching it, and I leaned over to Steven, and I was like, "That's the fucking beanie guy who won an Oscar." So it was like, you know, it was a when whole... you say beanie guy to explain to everybody, he wore a beanie to the Oscars, and Dude, we still can't think of his name. The Oscars. You're, look up his name. Look up his name. You have your phone. People know. I feel like I feel Oscars. bad when I don't know someone's name, but he also has a weird name, so it's so, like well, that made it worse that you just said that. He has a weird name. Let's just it's, to say it. We're just. I, it's not like John Smith. It's like a hundo 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 something like that. It's a weird. I can't pronounce it. Stop. What's his name? Look it Dude, up. Dude, I'm trying. Oscar, uh, supporting actor, winner. She's typing nonsense right now. I literally typed Alita, but I guess I'll go fuck myself. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Go ahead and pronounce that. Mahershala Ali. Ah, pretty good. Like Muhammad Ali, but not. Uh, he is anyway, in it. He's really he's good. He's in it. Who else is in it? Ed Screen. My mo- I'm watching this movie with my parents. I hear my mom go, <gasps> Francis. From uh, he was in Deadpool. He was in Deadpool. He was a villain in Deadpool. Um, let's see, Jack Earl Haley. Damn. Who was he in the movie? That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh wait, I clicked the wrong button. Was this he is... one of the? Was he one of the uh, cyborg people? It doesn't even say. Yeah. So probably. basically, it's a cyborg world. It's in like 2500 A.D. And um, yeah, this guy finds this uh, half broken cyborg and brings it back to life and. It kind of unfolds from there, so we really liked it, and uh, we recommend going to see it for sure. For real, it's a fun time, it's even with fun. your parents. Are you ready to talk about spoilers? Oh yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <gasps> Wait, we what? didn't. I feel like we didn't give enough info. Yeah, we spo- did. Okay. Spoiler alert. Dude, her boyfriend dies twice. <laughs> it's so great, and uh, like. You're so it's also so we should say it's it's directed by Robert Rodriguez and that's beautiful and I'm sorry listen James Cameron James Cameron wrote like the wrote the screenplay and produced it right so boyfriend dies because he gets shanked there's a whole plot thing I'm not gonna explain the movie but he gets shanked right because he quits his bad boy job because he loves the cyborg lady yeah and uh, Ajax fucking shanks him shank shank and um so so cyborg girl takes him into a building and is like what I need to do and she punches the ground in anger and she's very strong so it explodes and then Jennifer Connelly comes out of the shadows and she's like I'll help you and what she does is she decapitates him you don't work for where what happens that's not what spoilers are will you let me finish and then she attaches his head to her robot heart to keep him alive and then he turns into a cyborg that was too much you're right but but, so, um, come Wait, to find out, she is a cy- super cyborg from a Dude, battle that happened in the past, because there's a, 
There's a city up above uh, called Zion or something like that. Or Zerdan or Zordon. Zulu. Zulu. Zabumafu. Zabumafu up, up top. Everyone's trying to get to. But everyone's living in Iron City down below. So she ends up... Uh, she was part... She has to do these flashbacks during the movie because she can't remember where she's from or who she is. And these flashbacks of these battles that she was in like uh, 300 years ago. Like on the moon and stuff. On the moon. She and has like a cool fucking badass lesbian teacher who is like... <laughs> How do you know she's lesbian? Dude. Assumed. I can feel it. Are cyborgs? She had a nice ass too. Can cyborgs be um, lesbians? Yeah, man. Okay. If cyborgs can fuck Hugo... Who, okay, ready? Gets decapitated. Let's carry on. They turn him into a cyborg because... Hugo's her boyfriend, by the way. Yeah. Turn him into a cyborg because they can do that. And then he's like, I'm gonna do some stuff. And then he dies again. Well, because everyone's trying to get to the city above. Zabumafu. Zabumafu. So he falls off the fucking tube to Zabumafu. And she fucking reaches down. And they're holding on. But his robot arm isn't that good of a robot arm. Mm -hmm. So it's breaking. And he... And he says some, like, magical shit, and then he falls to his death, and, like, James Cameron, we get it. Like, fuck the man, drown him. I love it. I love it. Okay, what didn't you like about the movie? Um. Wow. You know, I honestly, I'm sure there are, I, can you go first? Because I, I'm just blindsided, because I just really liked it. And we saw Okay, him. I'll go first. Yeah. I didn't like you, the ca- the actor that played your boyfriend was kind of like here, a Twilight kind of guy. Like, he just didn't... He didn't feel like he was blonde in the movie. Like, he felt like his acting was just shitty. You know you know what all devil's advocate about that? What? Is that he had a bad boy job. You know how the lover on the deal is always shady, right? Yeah. But he was really like a good soul. He looked... He was like a pretty boy. But he was thing. a bad actor. Just what I'm going to say it right oh, now. So he was a bad I don't actor. Think he was a bad actor. Um, he was probably the weakest actor in the whole movie. You know what, Alita, Oscar. Oh yeah. I don't even. He was uh, so good. I'm still looking up things. What was the, the name of the actress that played Alita? That one right Rosa there. Rosa Salazar. Yeah, and what has she been at? Nothing, right? Click her thing. Click her thing. Click yeah, her, I will. Click her thing. Just kidding. Sorry. Um, she's, she's in, in Bird Box. She was. I guess so. Okay, Maze Runner, Chips, 2017. Like nothing, man. Maze Runner, Insurgent, and I, yeah. Garbage, nothing. And she just knew a lot of cool karate moves. I just, I thought the practical, well, the, the CGI with the uh, performance capture was incredible. Well, because she definitely did. She like, performance she talked captured. And she made those faces. And yeah. sometimes, uh, she just went from this like childlike wonderment brand new human yeah right to this like fucking badass and she just it was believable i'll tell you what it's hard for a movie to Uh, capture you and make uh, you really like really like the protagonist and i think they just did a really good job with this plus you loved christoph waltz was so goddamn good dude he's always good he was just good he was christoph waltz i want to be friends with him are you too christoph i hope you're watching this be friends with us this is my llama um i want him at a carnival my mom actually paid a carny money continuously until I won this prize because I wanted it so bad. He used to be fat, but I've I've loved him into into. Uh, what's his name? Thinness Chubb. His name's Chubb. Chubb. Um, Sorry. What's your What's your review? Uh, One out of ten sheep or you know llamas, what? if if you. I'm will. gonna say this this first episode, and I'm never gonna say it again. I love everything, so I have a hard time with with rating because I just love it. I love things. I love being happy. So if my thoughts fluctuate, it's based on my mood. Um, I gotta give it an 8. 8, eight. solid? Eight. Oh, we're gonna do a Portnoy? Eight. Fuck you, Portnoy. <laughs> um, she doesn't mean that. Dude. I totally mean it. No, you gotta do a point system. Gimmick ass bitch. I'm just, that was a little far. <laughs> that I took it a little far. Um, 8 Okay, you know what? I get it. I see it. I see it. There's half sizes. Um, 8.2. Okay. I'm going to give it an 8.4. Okay. I liked it, I liked it a lot. I, we've so, seen it twice, and whatever movie have we seen twice lately? Nothing, really. 
No, we don't go back to the theater and see it again, I even mean, though we have okay, free passes. Okay, you, you say that, but, like, this, it was set up where, like, this was almost our only movie option, and we were like, well, that was good enough to see again. We didn't go out of our way to see it twice. No, but we, not, uh... Not that we wouldn't. We did. We saw it twice. We and did. we liked it twice. We did. I'll pro I mean, I'm confident I'll like it six we more We will times. own it, for sure, when it comes out. Oh, I'll own yeah. your fucking... Hey! This is a kids-friendly show. No, it's not. I'm gonna bleep her out. It's okay. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our review of Alita Battle Angel. Alita um, Battle Angel. My name is Steve. Sammy. And we're from Root Beer Circus. Chubb. Bye.